Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Now, hopefully you are seeing me and hearing me a hell of a lot better than ever before. Done the old GoPros, all well and good. The four probably was the best out of the whole entire range. Um, got a five recently, the microphone, just rubbish. Either it sounds like I had in a bucket, or it was just picking up everything from everywhere else. I know a lot of cameras do do that. This is a brand new camera. It's hopefully, I've paid a lot out for this, hopefully you can hear me and see me. What are we gonna talk about today though? LED lights. Now, I'm a big advocate of LED lights. I love them. I've had loads of bikes and cars and I've changed the headlights, I've changed the side lights, interior lights, um, license plates on cars and so on. However, there comes a time where you've got to really have a serious think. Now for this motor, this is my F-150 as there's a few videos, I've done a separate channel but I put this one on my mainstream channel. Um, these, you know, we always talk about H4s and H7s, they're the general ones we use here. But these are American jobbies and they come with different plugs. I thought these would fit my motor, they didn't. I take the plug off and then sort of wangle them in, which worked really well actually. And I have to say, oh my God, they were amazing. They were really white and they shone up brilliantly. The problem was, there's no actual sort of beam on them. So they shone up from the planes, that's still going over my head, to the floor and to the bush and to the other bush the other side of the road. I mean, people were flashing me constantly and I couldn't have that. So I put the old lights back on, or back in, should I say, so not end of the world. Now, you might see here a nice set of nine inch Rally 2000s. They are, well, I just love the look of them. They're perfect for this motor. It's big motor, big lights. But what I did do is put LEDs here. Now, if you watch my first video of this F-150, I had them on then, but I never wired them in. I have wired them in. They just look, mm, no, they just don't, don't suit the motor. And I think that's what you've got to look at, the age of the motor you're putting them on. I could have bought some of them big 48 inch light beams and stuck it on the roof. I did buy a couple of smaller ones and these pairs as well um, to put around as running lights. But I kept looking thinking, it doesn't look right. It's not going to look right. I didn't want to do it. So I didn't wire them in, that is. Until I got these. <laughs> then I did wire them in. I'll quickly turn them on. You can see what I'm talking about. So here they are on. Just, they're bright. They just don't suit the motor, do they? Now, when I put these bad boys on, they do suit the motor. And they look great. They really do. So the yellow high beam and low beam, and these yellow spotlights, they looked really good. The problem was I had these. Now, try and find a decent set today of the old style lights, classic they're called. Wow, you can pay a lot of money here in the UK. I remember these in the shops. 15 pound, 20 pound maybe. Um, you can get some real cheap ones that fell apart, but good quality ones, a little bit more money. The person wanted 45 pound for these. I mean, I got these for 30 pound, and they were 45, these were 100 and something pound, and they still are now for sale. And these can go up, I've seen people sell these for 80 quid. A guy had a nice set of hella ones that had matched these, but they were lorry ones, are slightly bigger. And he wanted 89 pounds or something silly, plus delivery, another seven odd quid, and he wouldn't move on it. I can't do that. You think they've been sitting in your shed or garage? Bit rude, you're gonna put something for sale, this would have haggled, don't you? But no, some people don't do that. So I thought these were actually new, asking 45 pounds, and it turned out they're not. With this sort of bracket, you can see, well, I think they'd be on another car, the way they've been set up, maybe. But these look so much better. If you can look, you know, they are gonna stand out. They're gonna match these. I mean, these are Heller, these are Ring. I couldn't get a set of Heller and I wasn't gonna pay 80 pound for them. Not for a pair of, of spotlights, I just wasn't doing it. So I've got to wire them in because they've not been wired in. Do you know, maybe he hadn't, maybe, I don't know, maybe he just put them on and tested them or not, I don't know, because a little bit, they do look very good condition. But it just seemed odd having this bracket all already on there. And the bulbs were in as well, which didn't come that way. So maybe he played with it a little bit. I'm going to wind these in today, um, putting the old wires that I've put in here already. I wired them out, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> so, stay with me. We're going to simply just put these in. Wiring these in is really easy. 
My knees are killing me. I'm too old. <coughs> All you're going to do to wire these in is a wire coming from here to the earth, another wire going straight to a switch, and the switch to the battery. Remember to fuse it, okay? Don't do it directly, all right? Because if it did crab anywhere or, or the, um, the arc air, it would cause a fire and cause some serious damage. So always fuse these. You haven't got to have this huge relay and everything else that you sometimes get in wiring packs. If you've got it, fine, that's great. But just make sure you fuse these, okay? You get a little cheap fuse if you will. Compatible wire. These are a good little kit, you know. eBay, tenner. Um, they're gonna sit in your drawer for ages until you go, huh, I need some of them. I mean, you know, four of these, I think, in a half is all, £1.25, and there's 480 here, so for £10 or whatever it was now, really well worth it. I've used it several times. I've also got a heat shrink, actually. Um, because I'm winding straight and I haven't got to do that, but I've used a heat shrink before and that's really, really clever. Stops the old tape, which comes off anyway. So, let's get these off, get the new ones wired in, and you can tell me what you think. Just to say, yes, I have a separate channel with three videos on here. Um, no views, because obviously no one knows they're there. And I wouldn't have put this one really on my channel, except it's more so about the lights and LED lights. What would you do? Would you put LED square ones on here and change the whole look of the vehicle? Um, there's a video on here, but I'll quickly pan out and you can have a look at the vehicle and you see what I'm talking about and what you've done. Yes, the uh, bonnet is up because I'm ready to play. Um, but let's have a quick look at the vehicle. She is a 1991 F-150, 302 Windsor, 5 litre V8. You can see what I'm trying to say about the front. On the back though, So there we have the back view. I like this camera. Now, I had to get reversing lights on here, and they were already on here. Above there is the red stoplights, and again, I put LED ones there. All the other ones are like camping van ones. They're red, just rubbish, and I didn't like the look of it. And I still think the back does suit it, and obviously I've put a reversing camera in there as well. But yes, I think the back looks nice like that. But for the look on the front, I just don't think it would have looked right. Slapping a big bow on top of there and not doing it proud with the proper original lights on the front. So you're always gonna run into some small complications. I mean, obviously when I put these on, I put another bolt here and a bolt there and it was fine. When I drilled these in, I tried to line them up between these two bolts here. <laughs> Of course, the other side is the main steel chassis. So these bolts, took them apart, go on really well until they hit the chassis. So I've got to take off probably about five mil off the bolt. You always get some complications. I don't want to use any other bolts and nuts because these are nickel plated, good quality ones. I mean, you can see that that started to rust little bolts already. That's what you get when you buy Chinese stuff. You could silicon it and you know, do all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna use original bolts, but I'm just gonna cut off five mil, so when I do put them in, they won't stick out like this. <laughs> Sticking out massively, which wouldn't work. Remember to put a nut on before you start cutting off, or you just won't get it on. It's easy to unthread it and try and get it back on again. So there's a top tip. Always put a nut on if you're gonna cut any bolts, then it will come off back and forth, it will sort of like thread it for you. So, let's pop into my shed of happiness. Got a hacksaw, they're gonna be hard to hacksaw through as well because they're good quality. Right, let's get back. <laughs> what I didn't want was purple wire. <laughs> You'd see it really badly. So, I've used some ordinary house one um, I was going to say you can't really use too big, but you can if it's like amp wire or something silly. Um, don't use speaker wire because it's for speakers. Um, but I've used household wire here. Um, it's insulated, I've done that bit there. And now you've got a nice black cable, which I think is a lot, lot better. Um, let's make sure there's a baggy bit in there.
and that really is I mean we can adjust it all because I'm using earth now I've found on a lot of American mowers now um, they earth everywhere because the whole car's earthed so the metal bumper so they earth it there so I'm just going to put the black wire or in this case the blue to the bolt that I'm putting in here it's connected to the uh, chassis and job done um, I find that obviously um, British cars and modern cars all plastic everywhere so they always seem to go back to a main earthing point but with good old metal cars you haven't got to worry and plus you can have a crash in this fatality and still drive it home well, maybe a relative because <laughs> they're just so solid <laughs> drive it home dead just forget I said that anyway of course this one's going to have to plug in there the other side will be alright because of the holes the other side as well but I pre-drilled the holes for the other ones but it's going to be a lot neater which is a small little bit of black wire there. I was thinking actually of popping it through here, but I've got the hole, so I'll have a little debate on that with myself in a minute before you get to see them on lined up. Then I'm going to do all the wiring and job done. You've got to look ahead, haven't you? You've got to, you've got to think how it's going to look. You can't be tacking live wires everywhere like I was actually going to, and I'm looking for. I could have heat shrunk it as well, and I thought there yeah, they're only small bits that have gone along. Look a lot better. Let's get on with it. Okay, so they are on. And they look a lot, lot better. I must say, don't they? Don't you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. A lot better than the LED ones. Do they work? Well, we're going to find out. I managed to recycle the old wire that I used, um, and because I wired the earths into the back of the um, bumper, um, the chassis earths them nicely and only one wire went up but actually did a lot neater than I did it last time to be honest with you I didn't trust the LEDs I didn't like them I just put them on there you know when you put something on you think yeah no that looks a lot better doesn't it you know proper 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 lights the right era 1990s the right era for this motor um, a quick look at the engine I know I've seen it in another video but let me quickly show you the engine pan down put the bonnet down and then we're going to see if they all work and what they look like That is a 302 Windsor 5 litre V8. Yes, I've got that there. I drilled seven holes in, didn't want any crap to get in there. And yes, I've got the filter there because of this weird carbon barrel thing and with the airing, it just didn't run right. That was just left to suck in air from wherever it wanted to. So I put that on there, it runs a lot better, it starts and stops. When that pushed back, did want to start, but I was doing an amazing miles to the gallon, but it didn't want to run very well. Uh, I could do it up a little bit. Had to buy a brand new battery recently, um, because I just did. <laughs> and that's the way it goes. I've tucked in the wires all the way to the back, and then there's a fuse as well. So the bonnet's down. Let's have a look at all the lights coming on. for me to do now is well put the tools away tidy up a little bit so now all there is for me to do is say thank you so much please like share and subscribe stay with me I know it's not a moped or a motorbike but I just thought I'd just show you anyway because sometimes LEDs aren't the way to go if you've got a classic motor like this one take care of us on the road Next up and coming video will be a t-shirt competition and some other extra little bits. But uh, the guy who's doing it for me has been a bit of a knob. Anyway, hopefully this view now and the sound is amazing and you'll be really happy with it. I do get a lot of comments on that and I do understand the black hole of Calcutta and some other really rude people. Um, but hey, you do your best, you know, and you pay £300 for a GoPro and it's still rubbish. This was bloody expensive, so let's hope you enjoy the view. Bye-bye.